Well, so talk about leaning into right. this process, and then we'll start taking some questions from people. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, so I mean, the thing we discovered is that, like I was saying earlier, people have that uh, kind of identity trouble and uh, avoidance because of the overwhelm. Uh, we really encourage people to kind of lean into this difficult process and be aware that it doesn't mean that you have to suddenly take something that is literally overwhelming and suddenly magically sort it all out all of a sudden. Uh, because it's not possible that way. Like leaning in means just being ready to deal with some negative emotions, you know, and tolerate them. And instead of avoiding, seek out the help you need. Right. That's that's the thing that's important is a lot of times people will say there really can't be a way to do this. I don't want to deal with it instead of seeking out help. Yeah. And so we recommend lean into the negative emotions, seek out help. That can be us at person centered tech. That can be a colleague who's more tech savvy than you. That can be a family member who's more tech savvy than you. And in fact, I would recommend a combination of all of them because the people we've worked with who have that combination are often some of the most successful. Yeah. Because they have the local resource, they have the remote resource in us, uh, they listen to podcasts like Joe's, you know, and they end up getting both support and um, like emotional support and logistical support. And then they're able to get to, to get to where they need to go. Well, I think it's sort of like if you discovered some things that were wrong with your office, like your front door wasn't locking and then you noticed your file cabinet wasn't locking and then you noticed that your password on your computer had changed, like you would just make a checklist of the stuff you needed to get done. You would prioritize it on the, the biggest problems, like you know, not locking your office is a pretty big problem. So you'd have to call maintenance and get a new lock and all that. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think this process for me, it can feel like, wow, now I have this checklist of 50 things I need to do. But it's like, okay, let's look at what's the yeah. low hanging fruit that I One can take it a step at a time <laughs> to be more secure. So it might be, you're gonna yeah. start with full service or full device encryption, and then you're gonna right. set up you know, last pass, and then you're going to update your Gmail and PayPal accounts because that's someone that's most likely to get hacked. And then <laughs> you know, yeah. move into G Suite. And so it's like, you kind of just make this to-do list and prioritize it um, and set some time aside, you know, each week. And then when you get stuck, you know, to reach out to, to Roy and, you know, what your whole team. Um, I mean, I think that's where a lot of what you do, you give away so much information that if people mm -hmm. kind of already start with, here's what I need to start working on, then it's a lot less overwhelming than, oh my gosh, I have this big right. mess right. Of, of twine I have to undo.